hundreds of years, the people of South America have drank yerba mate out of a dry, hollow calabash squash, such as this, and it really is the most traditional way to drink yerba mate. Hey everyone, I'm Giancarlo, and if you're new to drinking mate, there are some things you need to know about curing and taking care of your gourd. So in this video, I'd like to explain to you guys the steps and the processes on how to get a full mate experience. Now, let's get started. The first step to curing your gourd is filling it up about three quarters of the way with dry yerba mate. So, you want to let the water get a little bit warm before you fill up your gourd. And you want to put warm water in the gourd so that the flavor of the yerba leaves will soak into the gourd material. Now, with your bombisha, you're gonna to wanna to scoop up the yerba leaves so that all of them get wet. As you can see, some of the leaves are still a little bit dry, so we're going to fill it up with just a little bit more water. And you see, the yerba comes right up to the top of this rim. Once you fill up your gourd with wet yerba mate, you're going to want to leave it outside in the sun for a full 24 hours so that the flavor of the yerba really gets into the gourd. After your gourd has been sitting for 24 hours with the wet yerba in it, you're going to scoop out all of the yerba. And once you've gotten it as much as you can out with the bombisha, take it over to the sink and begin the first rinsing. Cleaning your gourd after it's been sitting for 24 hours is the most important part of the curing process. So you'll first rinse it just with water out of the tap and then we're going to sanitize the gourd with boiling water to get the rest of the leaves out of there and make sure that it's nice and clean. When your water comes to a roaring boil take it off and start sanitizing your gourd, but really make sure that it's boiling this hot so you can get the full cleanliness in your gourd. Now be careful to not burn yourself. And scrape off any loose material that may have come loose during the curing process with your bone bicho. And dump it out. And we're going to repeat that process about four more times. And like that, our gourd is squeaky clean. Now that you've washed your gourd out, you're going to want to let it sit in the sun for another full 24 hours. And once you let it sit for that amount of time, it'll be ready for years to come for you to enjoy. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.